Hello guys, James back here again with my second episode in my just sort of let's play and having fun on Ultimate Team FIFA 18. Um, they're going straight back into an online draft today. Um, 15,000 coins. I'll quickly show you actually that we have sold, if you can see we've got 133,000 coins there so we've sold a few players. These two I bought and sold because I was doing SBCs and uh, that'll be another video but um, yeah so we sold Perrine 3,700 650 this guy Screener team of the season sold to 41,000 uh, Martial wants to watch was it wants to watch? no it was um, Path of Glory 12 and a half and then Batshuayi 78 and then just all of these, not that much, nothing to really write home about, but all just extra coins. Uh, and then that guy's another one from an SPC trying to sell him. Um, and then, yeah, we've got a pack in there that is the free one that EA gave us, but yeah, we'll go straight into the draft now. I was still just so happy, so, so happy. Um, I'll double tip this is online because I made a mistake on my other account of doing this as a single player, and you know, it's online. Right, yeah, let's get into this. So yeah, I was so happy with uh, with that first draft. I couldn't believe it. Right, these formations. I think we've got to go with this four one two one two wide. That's the one that I'd like the most. Right, oh, look at that. You can't really look anywhere else. We're saying that Suarez or Messi. I think we've got to go for the Suarez. Although the Messi, oh, what do we do? What do we do? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Messi because I think he's my type of player more than Suarez. We could still get Suarez anyway. Um, oh, team of the season, Kane. We've got to do it, haven't we? Go for the big players. Oh, that Kocha, that is amazing link both of them up it's going to be going a lot better really oh my word look at that we'll get that salary and swap them over this is going well so far right big players what do we do no one to link to Messi so I think we just take this rubri and we'll, uh, we'll try and hopefully get some more chemistry for Messi later on but this Matic He's the highest rated and he's probably the best as well. Yeah, we'll take him. Right, centre back. We want a Premier League centre back. Oh, that's a shame. Um, what are we going to do if we just go the highest rated for now? Because none of them I don't think we want. Oh, this Valencia. He was a standout player for us last draft and he is amazing. Um, centre back this PK looks tasty but that company as well at the same time I think we've got to go PK I hope we can build out that left side with La Liga oh, to Stegen as well that is we've got to go to Stegen to get in the links that's it's going well so far this is looking decent um, Kolasinac I guess at worst we can play him centre back at worst we can do that and put him oh my god I've made a massive mistake there I've picked Mashand well we'll, uh, we'll forget about that one won't we <laughs> shocking right this we've just got to go rating I think and Lloris is prem anyway can't believe I've done that to be fair it wouldn't have helped that much but Ooh, I think we've got to go Juan Fran and put him at left back and then hopefully we can get a Premier League centre back no it's chucking chucking rubbish players at us to be honest now I think we've got to go Sergei Roberto and he might get some more Ken will he? no but playing him there does so we might do that for now right Come on, let's. We need to, we've not been getting great players for ages now. And again, shocking. So we'll just go with Kagawa for the rating. Uh, Mikitarian, does he help? Doesn't really help. 
that Sanchez card is looking nice though. We might end up just going all Premier League and having Messi as a super sub, so I think we'll take him. Put him there for now. Look at that card. That Neymar is a super sub and half. What do we want to do here? I think we've got to go with the Neymar. Need a striker. Oh, that William as well. We've got to take him. He's the best player and he's he'll fit sort of enough. No one really helps us here, but we've got that Mbappe. We take him as a super sub. That Hazard, he played amazing for us last draft. Not that one, the uh, the better version, but I'm half tempted to just take him and play him up front off Kem. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll do that. How much is he on? Three, that's not ideal, is it? If we do that, oh no. No, that might have been a poor decision. We'll see what we get. Ooh. None of this really helps us, but no, none of this really helps us. We'll take this in God. Just because I'm a Man U fan. Shocking again, highest rating. We'll just take this guy and then come on, we need a big player here. We don't get any big players, do we? All we get is this Matuidi, who'd be a good defensive super sub. So let's have a look at this then. Um, I'm not sure there's an awful lot we can do, to be honest, to make this good. To be fair, how tall is he? 5 foot 10. Maybe we can go like that and then like that, because I believe he's. 5'11 which is tall enough and he's got the pace but I don't want to I think we might have to do that but it's not ideal so that is the draft um, yeah there's not a lot we can do what was messy on when he was up there To be fair, I think that Messi on the 7 chem is better than Hazard on 3 chem because 5 is the base chemistry obviously which means you get the card stats. So that means at least we've got everyone apart from, I don't know if we do that, that's better, we'll do that. We've got everyone on at least 6 chem so they're getting a slight boost if nothing else, everyone on the team. Um, yeah, that we're going to have to go with that, I think. And we'll swap out Lingard because he could be a super sub. And all of them are rubbish, really. But, yeah, that is the team. And I'm not too displeased with that. We'll get our manager. Probably just Premier League. Or not. Um, none of them. They don't. It's not trying to help us out today, is it? Uh just picked him again by accident whoops oh well none of them really helped at all but not too bad at all I don't think I've seen a lot worse and we'll just quickly just go in and do the uh, instructions while I'm here so yeah stay back and attack stay back and attack stay back and attack we'll have Matic on stay back while attack I think we'll have all of our midfield on just the default and then we'll have getting behind uh, yeah on, all the, on both of our strikers so yeah that will do us and then we've got these super subs some amazing players really to come on and make an impact to be honest so they could be big um, but yeah that even that team to be honest I'm pretty pleased with that some big players We've got Sanchez, that looks like a great card. A Koch, obviously, icon, very nice indeed to link the chemistry as well. Messi, just not, don't have to say a lot more than that. That Kane card, unbelievable. Salah, 
believe that is that record breaker seller, I think so. Um, that Valencia is yeah unbelievable as you saw last draft. European um, is that group probably group stage that's a stadium very nice and he's got saves with feet trade actually team of the season PK not ideal defence again he did just struggle with the defence last time but yeah that is what it is so that is it guys um, and then the next part of the oh, well, just totally forgot what I'm trying to say the next part of the video will be the game at play post commentary highlights so yeah see you in the next part Hello guys, back again and this is now the post commentary bit of the highlights of the games of this draft. As you can see on the screen there, we're just going into the first game, come up against Keps with the team name Pinoy and again we see another one of those um, LGBT kits, although it doesn't use it, it uses the Malaga home I believe. Um, and yeah, this is his team, so that was a decent team. He's got team of the year, um, De Gea and Marcelo. He's got all those international heroes ones, which is the Suarez, Rakitic, Thiago Silva, Varane, and he's got Infor Lukaku. Uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm run out of time to see all those other players, but yeah, just decent, decent team. Um, but we took us a little while to get into this one. We were having a lot of a dollar of ball in sort of his area, his half of the pitch, and um, yeah, it took us 28 minutes to break him down with Messi getting on the score sheet there, um, and then close to half time and that hero Salakard comes down the uh, comes down the wing takes to the byline crosses it in and Messi's there for a header which is an unusual goal for him but yeah nice that he was putting that in go 2-0 up and then 50th minute uh, just doing more good work We're here with a Acotra instead and he's just weaving and ducking and diving through the box and then he's got a lovely uh, he's dug out a lovely outside of the boot finishes past the keeper and uh, at this stage it's sort of like I bought Ribery, Neymar and uh, Mbappe on and I was just going for some crazy long shots and stuff but um, this one I just decided to score the goal and thought I'd get to the five goals to um, get the maximum goal bonus and stuff for the coins but that Ribery card was uh, insane I did like using that and then here we're Mbappe just using his unbelievable pace like you saw in the World Cup earlier this uh, month and a tidy little finish underneath the keeper and uh, yeah this guy wasn't he was not bad going forward to be honest but he didn't he didn't sort of he wasn't the best at defending and I was just with the dribbling of some of these players it made it quite easy to just dribble around him and then this one as I said I was going for some crazy long shots and rebree there I think my first ultimate team is 3 for 11 and I used to score goals like that all the time that was unbelievable that one and uh, yeah some nostalgic feelings I was having there scoring a goal like that it was just top top bins you don't get any um, higher in the goal than that just lovely to see and uh, as you yeah, see the match stats there 24 shots 15 on target to uh, his 6 and 0 and I think we had 56% possession it said but then straight into the second game we go and uh, yeah no changes to the team and I was surprised at how well it done there but it's, I do find you tend to get good attacks in the draft, but then sort of because that's where you start and obviously build down from there. The defence is a lot harder to get a nice defence, but um, hopefully in the next one we can try and do that. But then this guy, he obviously he had the same sort of struggles as me actually. He had team of the year, Luis, but then he had a right back and Albiol, the two centre backs, just poor. He had the team of the season, Casemiro, though, the foot birthday, Ronaldo on the right wing. Um, Informed Griezmann up front. Team of the group stage, Costa was that, or some sort of informed Costa. Hadji in at centre, attacking mid. And um, yeah, he was quite a good player, this guy. That was a weird goal, that one. He paused it, and it was almost like he paused it to sort of assess where my players were. Unpaused it, and um, carried on and scored the goal to be fair to him so yeah maybe that's a tactic that he uses sometimes and gets in good positions but at 25th minute we uh, get quite a instant response well not instant actually it took 20 in game minutes but Messi yeah just pace to burn getting past the uh, offside trap and plays it into Kane and then as you'll see in this game every time I got back in it he, got, he pulled another one ahead 
and uh, yeah, it was I was getting frustrated with myself more than anything. But I was keeping calm and I was kept kept going. We'll see uh, how it all ends up. But he brought Mertens on after I'd scored that first goal for um, Diego Costa, and uh, he put that in the back of the net. But then, just pretty much straight after that, running down the middle of the cottage, he plays it to Messi, and Messi just runs around his whole defence as he tries to uh, cover. And he leaves a big gap there, and he just slots that in for his uh, first goal of the game, and his after that assist he got for Kane. But again, yeah, as I said, every time I got one back, he would just go ahead, and it was just oh, it was so annoying because I knew that I had the beating of this guy. He um, uses his 95 hero, um, international hero Mbappe and uh, I was struggling to deal with it in this uh, in this game, all of his sort of, he was good at dribbling, sort of a similar player to me really but yeah, into the second half now, 68 minutes, it was a lovely finish from Messi, outside of the boot, top corner and uh, yeah, as you'd guessed it, I've got pulled one back so uh, straight off the kickoff. Oh, I didn't know what I was doing here. I was just hyped from still scoring that goal, and he comes down with uh, the icon Hadji and he's straight in the back of the net. And it was this point I was just like, "What am I doing? Pull yourself together, man!" <laughs> but um, yeah, get on to the next goal. And uh, yeah, as it's as it played out the whole game, I throw it into Salah, and we get the next goal. It's a lovely dribbling and a beautiful finish into the top bins. And uh, yeah, I, I said to myself, as soon as that went in, I said to myself, I am getting the next goal, and that's it. And then 80th minute, we have a corner, comes out to Sanchez, he does some weaving in the box, goes for the shot, goalie saves it, and then a bit of a ricocheting around, and we just, I was spamming that shoot button because I knew that could happen, it just fall back to him, and we put that in, and uh, that was how it ended. He put some late pressure on, but that was it. And I was so happy to win that because. I knew we could all game, but it was just so frustrating. It was like the game was working against me almost. Every time he'd score, we'd equalise, and then he'd score like, almost straight after again. It was just poor play for me, but so he had a few more shots there. We had more position, possession, though, so quite an even game. But then we go into the semi-final straight away here again, and uh, the standout player for me was probably Messi. He was, he was really good. Obviously, how you expect him to be, but he did perform up to uh, the level that you'd want him to. And then, uh, yeah, it took a while to find this um, next guy, and then it does pop up using the whole badge and uh, Mikolaj or something. His name was, so he's probably foreign, but yeah, it took a while for us to do all the kits and stuff. Don't know what I was playing at, but um, yeah, we go straight into his team. And he had a very decent team. A few that Romeo and Rojo, not great, but all the rest of those players, unbelievable. And then, guys, that happened. I lost connection to the EA servers and got a disconnect, which, um, yeah, I'll go straight into the packs now after you've seen me do that disconnect. Very unfortunate. Hello, guys, James here again, just to um, go over our packs and uh, see what rewards we did get from the draft which unfortunately as you just would have seen I've been mean, disconnected didn't I have my lost internet connection um, at the before I even started playing the semi-final but oh, what did we get a jumbo premium gold packs not too bad and a premium gold pack let's have a go and have a look at these so yeah we've got this that red gold packs the one from EA for it being footies so yeah let's get straight into this and see if we can get any luck better luck than losing the blooming connection oh my word look at that look at that guys that's not too bad a luck I don't think is it I'll take a disconnect in the, uh, the semi-final every day of the week if you get rewards like that how much do these two go for oh my gosh look at that I reckon we're looking at, what do you reckon, 200k at least. There's a bid for their 41, but there's no way he's going for that. And this Roberto as well to get the hyperlink. 138, low bin, 85, 80. So that's another 80k at least. 
that is insane we'll send all of this up to the we'll send them three things up to the transfer list anyway save the contracts and fitness and the chemistry start on oh, no, I will sell that actually send that up to the club that can all get discarded that can go to the transfer list that can get discarded well if the next packs are anything to go by then that was an unbelievable start I'm surely not getting this one either oh, it'd be amazing I want to skip it send all of this up to the trade pole anyway another signing for Wolves They're unbelievable signings and that Shah he's gone to um, Newcastle as well uh, yeah, that will go up to the trade pole we'll send all of that up as well a thousand coins as well not too bad Amex Stadium redeem these coins to be fair, yeah, that is, I'm still, I'm, I'm shook that we've got them sort of players out of a, just a, a premium gold pack, that's unbelievable, uh, that can go up to the club, and then we'll just discard all this, and we've still got this one from EA as well, rare gold pack, this could be a big one as well, I'm not going to skip this one, we'll see the flash, what do we get, is it going to be a blue flash, there is, oh no, Getting in form though, we'll send all the old keep readies uh, Premier League. That's not too, he's surely he's just discard. Have a quick look at that. Oh, this is that'll be SBC then because this is all um, untradeable, unfortunately. We'll just discard these. I don't want any of that in the club, just clogging it up, but. Yeah, those last two are a bit underwhelming from the start, but let's have a look at these. I might even throw them straight up for sale. So what are we looking at? He's got 32 bid there, but his minimum buy now is 80. So I reckon we can get, I reckon we can get at least 50k for him. I think I'll watch that one. Um, and this PK as well. Unbelievable, unbelievable pulls from a, just a premium gold pack, and then some other highly ish rated at Tompkins is Premier League, but he's not going to go into our team. Well, I don't want to use that at all, but yeah, that's unbelievable. We could use him, but at the same time, I just want to get the coins in and uh. Yeah, I enjoy playing with the Premier League players better, so we can start building an unbelievable Premier League team, which I might start doing um, in the next couple of episodes. But we can keep drafting, and I, I might try and do another draft as well, to be honest, before this, uh, this what you call it, footies um, rewards in the packs with all these team of the seasons for birthday and. Um, off the Corey players but yeah that's it for this episode thanks for watching guys if you could like comment and subscribe and i shall see you in the next one cheers see you later